Nyazeyo. What's up, everyone? It's me, Matt from Diazmo, coming at you with another album review. Today, we're checking out the world sensation, New Jeans, with their second EP, Get Up. Now, a little background on them are, is they are a K-pop group from South Korea, been around since 2022 summer. Uh, they dropped an EP last year, which you know was more R&B, hip hop uh, fused uh, K-pop, I guess you could say. Uh, this new effort came out this past year, and. A lot of people liked it, but personally, Anyazeyo. What's up, everyone? It's Matt from Diazbo coming at you with another album review. And today, we're checking out the second EP, Get Up, from the band New Jeans. Now, New Jeans is a K pop group from South Korea with members who are half like part Korean, uh, non Korean. A little bit of everything they sing in english and korean they've been in the game for about a year now and they've gotten a lot of traction they're really popular now they're really hot so uh i decided i think it's always good to check out all the new music new popular music that's coming out stay up with the trends and everything and yeah so this is my little uh review of this new ep from new jeans new jeans so they sound very fresh clean on that one uh clean and salt house intro with the beat and everything i was kind of taken aback by that with that house intro a little bit um and then also i'm really surprised at how much english is being spoken here they're really trying to get into that uh english market i think so that was surprising um it's an okay intro might be a little bit too long i think um the production sounds really good here however the vocal performances from the girls seem a bit meh so overall, I felt the song is not, it's not wowing, but it's not bad, but it's not great. shy faster tempo with the drowning bass line with this song a uh, bit of a i want to say their vocal performances they're a bit more upbeat so that's a, that's kind of noticeable and kind of okay uh again the production is not that great um it's not overproduced like some k-pop songs are but it seems a little bit underdeveloped it just kind of seems there um it, this song makes me feel like it's a faster version of the intro in a way like not much going on, kind of the same energy. Um, but as the song progresses, it does kind of build up, but it, go, it kind of goes nowhere, I feel. Um, I, I want to say, I guess the chorus does something with this song, but it just seems really basic and nothing too, like, wowing, I want to say again. ETA, there's some, like, backing trumpets in the background of this song that just kind of sound a little weird but as the song goes along it they do like kind of get catchy and you kind of like enjoy them but they're very jarring at first um again the song is very mild or a little bit on the close to the mid side it's just there um but i will say the chorus with the trumpet that's where i was like like thinking oh, okay this song's got some a little bit of spice too with those trumpets in the background as they sing the the chorus and the more I listen to this group, I can't tell if it's a Korean group or just a normal pop group because it has the the, the DNA of a K-pop group, but they're just speaking a lot of English, which is weird for me in a way. Uh, I will say the beat is a bit more catchy here. And um, as the song progresses, it kind of like it catches your attention. But overall, it's still just an OK song. Uh, then we have Cool With You. Uh, they're kind of bringing back those house sounds from earlier in the first song and everything and also infusing more R&B style vocals which they did on their previous EP which is really nice uh, the harmonizing on this track is very good and the chorus just hits all the right beats and goes well with the vocals 
like they did a really good job on here um kind of an old school dance track and the chorus i think sticks with you more than the other songs so with that i want to play a little clip of cool with you cool with you uh get up uh off the bat on this song i feel like it's a huge like scissor ripoff like it sounds like a, they're trying to be a scissor really bad on this track and officially like i'm five tracks into this uh, ep i can't call them necessarily a k-pop group because there's just so much english and i just feel like they're just a normal pop act at this point at this point uh this song literally could have been added at the end of the last song <laughs> it made that song better but as a standalone part it just feels really out of place here like i don't know what they were thinking with this production this vocal pattern and everything it just does not go very well. and last song we have here asap um it's just an alphabet spelling song as i listen to the song and they have this weird like TikTok ad lib that just sounds god awful. Uh, the song is just filled with them saying ASAP and TikTok the whole time. And there's this weird like xylophone beat in the background. I'm like, what the fuck is that? And in the song, they say, don't be lazy. But I feel like this song is probably like the laziest song they've ever made. Um, it's uh, before the song and everything, I, I kind of had like respected new jeans for what they were doing especially on that first ep with the r&b infused but i feel like this album i feel like there's a little bit more pandering for i guess singles or possibly tiktok views or anything but like this song really tanked this uh ep for me like it it's very rare that i feel like a song is bad but this song is just bad all the way around and i'm trying my best not to say anything too harsh but it is not a great song stacked up to the other songs even their mid songs look way better than this. So yeah, uh, with that being said, I want to play a clip of ASAP for you. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know, but I just don't think it's a good song at all. Yeah, ASAP. Um, this is like the first time that I was anticipated into listening to uh, an uh, artist's new material after listening to their previous stuff and being disappointed because I just want to get this out the way. Those last two tracks on this album just really, really tanked it a little bit for me just because they set, they felt tacked on with uh, the get up song it just felt like it was out of place didn't really belong to be, be anywhere unless it was part of that last song uh cool with you but it just seemed really out of place and then the song uh asap just is just a garbage song it's just not good at all i hate to say that not i'm sorry if it's a hot take but it does not do them justice especially with their previous r&b style work they they i can know they i know they can do better than that um the production clearly they have a lot of money to spend because some of the production even though the production was very uh mid and just kind of boring it did sound good the quality is very crisp it's really nice it's just the beats were a little bit lackluster and the girls performances were kind of lackluster as well they just seemed like they were kind of phoning it in a little bit there they didn't feel like there was enough a lot of a uh, passion i want to say in these songs from them and also like what they talk about their lyrics and everything they i hate i feel bad saying they feel superficial but they felt kind of superficial like but then again maybe because that's just what the youth of, the youth of today is all about that's what they're really passionate about maybe i'm just old and don't get it anymore but it didn't feel they felt very hollow with these lyrics um lap, like compared to their first ep and this one their first ep just seemed a little bit more uh insightful and more like had some more weight to it and it felt more personal like more relatable this one it just feels like 
it's fun, but that's about it, I guess. Yeah, so um, with this EP from uh, New Jeans, I feel bad, but I feel like I can't give it no more than... I feel like this is being nice. It's a very light 5 out of 10. Yeah. So uh, I'm pretty sure everyone knows about New Jeans. If you click on this, you've heard, you already listened to it and whatnot. But if you're new, links down below. Check them out and everything. I'm Matt from Diazville. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me what I th how you thought about this uh, album from New Jeans and everything. And with that being said, I will see you guys later. Bye.